Fifty years ago, Rachel Carson published her influential book, Silent Spring, the book many people credit for sparking the environmental movement. The book has deep connections to Michigan State University. From the late MSU ornithologist George Wallace's research that was featured prominently in the book to the establishment of the Rachel Carson Chair in Sustainability at MSU and a legacy of environmental science being conducted today. Dr. Wallace's work was, I think, pioneering. It looked at the population of robins being affected, essentially being eliminated by a chemical residue. We're looking at the translocation of that chemical. And then the big question, what are we going to do about it? These birds are all part of George Wallace's research into the possible effects of DDT on birds um, on campus. Like many other institutions and municipalities, Michigan State University used DDT liberally. Through his research, George Wallace showed that the spray could be extremely harmful to the environment. In a process called translocation, DDT would accumulate in lower organisms such as earthworms. When higher animals like robins ate the infected worms, they would ingest a lethal dose of DDT and die. Each of them was found with tremors, which is the, one of the symptoms of DDT. And Wallace uh, sampled each, the tissues from each of these for his analysis of uh, DDT levels in the various tissues. The work that the George uh, Wallace uh, did provide a good foundation, scientific foundation for what uh, Rachel Carson wrote in her famous book, Silent Spring. Rachel Carson's work has inspired me uh, in a great deal. A lot of people was uh, unhappy about uh, what she did. She had to take a lot of challenges, and uh, especially dealing with the in, uh, industry. What's very unfortunate is that much of the response to the book by major industries and to some degree by the academic community was not to wrestle with the science but to attack her personally. I have a research project in China and uh, in 2001 we published a paper in Science Magazine which reports that the pipetide in the Panda Reserve actually has uh, become worse after the reserve was established. A lot of people don't believe that because just they're unsinkable. It took a long time for us to uh, demonstrate how and why this happened. And, uh, but in the end, and, uh, 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 the government and the other agencies were convinced that this did happen and then uh, ask us to uh, find solutions to uh, address those kind of uh, issues. Tom Dietz, Michigan State University Assistant Vice President for Environmental Research and a leading climate change scientist, understands researching a controversial subject in the face of detractors. When someone raises a serious societal issue like the problems with pesticides that Carson raised, the response that's healthy is to deal with the science, figure out what's right and what's not right in the science, and how we can have creative solutions to the problems. The approach of simply trying to bully uh, your way out of the problem by attacking the messenger strikes me as very wrong-headed and not very useful. The application of what we learned from Silent Spring, it was turning point. Dr. Wallace's pioneering work and Rachel Carson's ability to write and bring this information to the public's attention changed history.